you know, close calls uh, is a, is an interesting term, and and of course, one someone's close call is is someone else's awesome failure. So, I I think uh, in terms of close calls, nine eleven was uh, was a close call for us, and and I do detail in the book our actions on the night of nine eleven. Uh, when we had to evacuate President Bush and, and Laura Bush from the White House uh, with the threat of an airplane uh, that was loose in the sky, uh, headed straight for the White House. And a lot of people don't know about that, but it, it is not uh, classified in any way. Uh, it turned out to be an Air Force jet that was um, that was on the wrong frequency and didn't have a, a transponder going. But uh, nevertheless, um, much like what you saw Saturday, uh, we took unprecedented action to to, you know, to uh, prevent uh, the president from being in harm's way. And so we did e e effect a, an evacuation that night uh, from the White House. And, and so that doesn't happen except in training. And what you saw Saturday uh, has never happened either when uh, the president uh, is under a hail of bullets and, and the protective detail has to react to that. And, um, you know, on, on some levels, that's going to be called a failure because they were put in a position to have to react uh, versus uh, the action of prevention, which is where we would prefer to live. The situations of life that, that presented themselves to me, and certainly on 9-11, had more opportunity to share my faith. And um, on the night of 9-11, when we effected that evacuation, um, there was there was one person who had to cover the evacuation with a with a machine gun and then stay behind and, and face that airplane, and that was me. And I did it with utter peace, knowing that uh, what was going to happen to me in death was uh, that I was going to cheat death and, and have eternal life with Jesus Christ. So, you know, I, 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 I try to live by faith. I, I try to speak my faith as opportunities present themselves. And, and that is what the book is really about. Cheating death is about not only protecting the life of the president and, and ensuring that, you know, the person that the U.S. Uh, population elected gets to do the job that, that they were elected to do, but also speaks to my personal life where uh, I believe that, that in death you, you skip from death to life eternal with Christ. So uh, in the general public, I, I, to me, it looks like there is a, a growing divide. And, um, you know, you're, you do see a lot more people coming forward talking about their faith. You mentioned UFC. It's so funny to see these guys bleeding afterwards, thanking, you know, God for, for a great fight and a, and a victory, that kind of thing. But um, so I, I'm certainly enjoying that and welcome that pro football players, basketball, what have you. Um, but it, it does seem like um, that is a, a very vocal minority in our country. And, and so I, of course, uh, invite people to follow Christ and, and ask me about it. I'll be glad to tell them about it. Now, I, I can't let you go without asking about what you just mentioned there with the machine gun. Where, where was that and what building was that? Was it in the White House, you're saying? Yeah, that was in the White House the night of 9-11 when we got the report that there was a, a, another plane headed for D.C. specifically for the White House. It was on an exact trajectory at high speed. Um, we, we implemented and effected an evacuation uh, of the president and the first lady that night. Um, not talked about much in media, and I've been reluctant to talk about that until more recently I talk about it in the book. But um, the, the protocol that was in place at that time was that uh, one person, and, and it was dictated by where you were when the call went out to evacuate, um, the, we, we tend to send maximum to the protectee and minimum to the problem. And so the protocol uh, really based more on a ground attack, but we evacuated. Uh, my friend Jeff led the team, made the decision to evacuate. And, uh, and I, my job <coughs> was to cover that evacuation and then stay. And, um, and as we know, it was, an, it was an aircraft and not a ground attack, but it was not, not a great time to argue the protocol. So I stayed behind and, and had a moment to think about uh, what was about to happen, having watched airplanes hit buildings all day long on the reruns of, 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 of World Trade Center and the Pentagon. So I was, I was very certain that, uh, that that was my last day, that that was my last minute and uh, had great peace about that, uh, was able to pray for my wife and, and my daughter at the time uh, in hopes that the Lord would provide them a, a better husband and a better father uh, after me. And, um, and then the call came that, uh, that it was actually an Air Force jet.
that was headed to DC to relieve uh, the, the fighter jets uh, out at Andrews, but he was on the wrong frequency and, and didn't have his transponder turned on. So uh, he got a pretty big wake up call that night. He came a lot closer to dying than I did. But of course, I didn't know that at the time. So it was, uh, you know, in retrospect, great experience for me just to know that piece and to know that, that uh, you do believe it deep down. And, and that's what won that night. What was the first thing you thought of when you got that call that it was one of your own and not a terrorist plane is what I mean, not a hijacked plane. What was the, you get that call what was the first thing you thought after that? The, the first thing I thought was we've, we've got to affect a, a re-entry of the president and the first lady back to the white house and get them back. Wow. Back. <laughs> I don't remember thinking too much else uh, at that time. I know there was relief and, you know, there, there was no, there wasn't a lot of joking and laughter that night. Uh, I think everyone was exhausted from the, the events of the day and just watching, you know, America get wrung out. Um, and I was no exception to that, but uh, so much frustration and, and uh, really anger over what was happening to our country and, and wishing you could do more uh, to have prevented or stop that. And, you know, who are we going to go get for it? Um, but, uh, you know, it's all very practical thinking that night. So I, I, I think when the call came, it was all right, let's let's reset and uh, and get back to business. Tougher than most, Kenneth, tougher than almost everybody, I would say. 